With the COVID-19 virus, there is no vaccine or cure, but thousands of volunteers, some in the Bay Area, have already signed up to be deliberately infected. The virus behind the pandemic has already infected millions and killed hundreds of thousands in just a few months. So why on earth would you let someone spray it up your nose? I, you know, when I initially read the proposal, um, you know, it sort of initially comes off as being kind of crazy. Stanford grad and cancer biologist Carson Polterak. He's volunteered to get infected with the COVID virus. The goal to rapidly speed up the development of a vaccine. There are thousands of people across the world dying every day. So every single day sooner that we can get a vaccine out is thousands of people fewer who will die. Nearly 27,000 volunteers have registered to participate in what's called a human challenge trial. The group is known as One Day Sooner. Right now, pretty much anybody can sign up if they want to, and we're asking for essentially healthy people under the age of 45. However, historically, challenge trials have been problematic. Now, it obviously has some objectionable ethics. Edward Jenner, who helped develop the smallpox vaccine, deliberately infected a worker's child with the deadly virus. In the Tuskegee experiments, government doctors followed hundreds of black sharecroppers who were infected with syphilis. The men and their wives were never told or treated with penicillin. And in the Bay Area, terminally ill men and women were injected with radioactive plutonium without their knowledge or consent. In the age of atomic bombs, researchers wanted to study the effects of radiation on the human body. Really important in thinking about um, the history of human testing is these sort of details about it's not sort of just who is getting challenged and who is being infected, but what are the power dynamics, you know, across the board. Professor Mabel Rosenheck is part of the One Sooner team. She says the group's effort will involve not only informed consent, but patient advocates. The registration is non-binding. One Day Sooner believes that human challenge trials can be ethical if they're executed ethically. We could end up um, making some people very sick and potentially having some people die. UC Berkeley public health expert Dr. Art Reingold, he sees both sides of the argument, especially given the nature of this virus. That if we can more quickly learn that a vaccine is in fact effective, we can get more people vaccinated more quickly and potentially save more lives. As for Carson, he is young and healthy. The data shows he's at low risk for a serious COVID infection. Even so, his folks were not exactly thrilled. We know that you're right, but we would rather it not be you. Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.